Hello again. I'm going to do a um, three-point moving average. Here we go. Um, this situation is the number of bowls sold each month. So um, the num we've got the months going down the side here from January down to December. And we just have to work out um, three-point moving average. So here we go. Um, what you need to do is, because we've got three points, we're, we're doing it these three at a time. I'll choose a different colour, you can see clearly what I'm doing. First of all, you take the first three numbers and you find the average of them and you write that there. Now this will be in line with F of February. You can't get one for January of course because you need the month before and then the January and the February. We, don't, we, do it, we would only have two then so you need the first all three so we've got January, February, March and the, the average will put in line with February. Okay, we add those three up, you get 150, 257, 163 when you add those three numbers together, and then you divide by three to find the average. 163 divided by three. And we get 54.3. So we come back here, it's 54.3. I'll do them in a different colour, so again you can see clearly what I'm doing. Now we need to move down, we do the next three points. So we now go from 55 1 to 56 down to 54 and that average right next and that's what we mean by the moving average. So you take the first three you get one average, you take the second three you get an average of 30 and so on. Well, I'll, d I'll just do this next one. So we've got 150 is 111 155 and divide that by 3 155 And we get 51 to 1.7. Just going to one decimal place here. I'm rounding off. Um, I'll do one more, and then you know, then I might just fill the rest in by myself. So we've got from 56, 44, and 39. This time, the next three down. They add up: 10, 19, 9, 1, 8, and 8, 13. Uh, 139 divided by 3. That comes to 46.3. So the next three, oops, give us 46.3. Um, and so on. So you next you take the next three, 44, 39, 35, and work down the average. That is how you work out the, the three-point moving average. You just take things three at a time. Now, as you go down and get down towards the bottom, when you get down the bottom, I'll just maybe I'll fill the last one in. Down the last three, you'll get is the October, November, December. So that's 90, that's 115. And you'll divide by three. And we'll get 38.3. So that will be in, in line with November. 38.3 and you have to stop there because if we were to take the next three where well you'd have November at 40, December at 50 and then the next January but we don't have a number for that so we've got, we would only have two So you, and you don't average them. You need three points in this three point moving average so we would stop at November there'll be a space below it and the, you know for the same reason you have that space above it at January. Okay so you'll end up with um, all these numbers filled in with all their various average for the groups of three as, as you've gone down through them. And that is what a moving averages. Okay, I'll stop there.